when we are when we are able to use the both sides of the brain mm-hmm. we'll be able to use both sides of the body also mo- much more b- better but more than that i am w- i'm going to come to one uh, point that there is a there is a special thing about this it doesn't happen at all frequencies like just like the heart mm-hmm. has heartbeat right we have seen mm-hmm. in the television uh, or in the hospitals also we have seen that there are bra- the waves right yeah 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 there are machines where we can see uh, ec machines etc we see mm-hmm. so the heart has the frequency the heart beats at a particular frequency okay similarly the brain also uh, ha- emits some uh, rays or you can say waves Mm-hmm. which actually has certain frequency and this there are different frequencies most of the most of us as you can see in the screen we function at a certain frequency where only the left brain is dominant that is called the beta frequency scientists have uh, like you know uh, named this as beta I means this is this frequency is anywhere between a 12 to 35 uh thing and the moment we open our eyes in the morning the moment we focus on something and we open our eyes we are in beta lower beta is fine but higher beta like 20 21 till 21 is fine but after that uh you start to feel more and more stress if it's 25 30 35 it means high stress too much of stress okay so uh we are active we are, uh, our attention is on the outside world not the inside world and we are in in this state for most of the time so this is a state called beta where our mostly the left brain is active the right brain is not active and we function at this most of us function at this level only some people have uh only some people take a dip into alpha level of the mind during the day maybe 10% of the population now it's very important to uh, to have that because if you are consistently being in beta all throughout the day you will feel stressed out you will feel tired you will feel exhausted your your brain will not function very optimally you cannot make very good decisions you will not be intuitive all the benefits of the right brain you will not get because you are in beta and 90% of the population is in that and they can't do anything about it because they don't even know about it but if you know what is like all those who are in in this webinar today now you are learning this secret right that this is what is going on it's not it's not uh it's not that the people uh, the rich people have are doing some things differently they are doing something uh, it's not the activities but it's the way the brain is functioning is there is there way the brain is functioning which is different and anybody can learn that and you are going to learn a lot of things today about this how this happens so now as i mentioned that in uh, if if many people who meditate right how many of you meditate just type m in the chat box you do meditation of any kind this is very good because at in med- while you are doing meditation you go to the alpha level of the mind which is anywhere between uh, 8 to 12 13 maybe around that it's a very relaxing state of mind where your focus is not outward your focus is inward okay you you are in that state and naturally we go into that state while uh, while waking up so those who don't do meditation they have only two chances those who do meditation they have three opportunities of going into alpha one is just before just after waking up while doing meditation and just before going to sleep you go into this alpha state of mind your brain waves are in this state those who meditate two times it's even better so alpha med- alpha level is that is the thing but in in a meditation 
what you are going to do uh, what you are going to learn in this workshop is a wide range of activities that you are going to do in meditation what happens is you go to the alpha level and uh, but you don't fully utilize all the possibilities are there uh, possibilities that are there in that so it's very good if you do meditation but lot of things that you can do here uh, is you, is what you are going to learn in in this workshop okay so alpha state is very very important and this is where your left brain and right brain also function equally uh, equally actively like, you know they are they are active so very very important is alpha state and then is the theta theta is a state of deep meditation where you are having thoughtless awareness now many people uh, have experienced this uh, it's momentary sometimes for few minutes for few seconds in fact it's a very deeply relaxed state it's not there is no thinking at this point of time and even if something uh, is uh, programmed in very early childhood this can be uh, like we move through this sir the moment they start meditation how many of you have this experience that you start meditation and you feel sleepy and then you then you go to sleep instead of doing meditation how many of you have this meditation uh, have this experience just type uh, me in the chat box i don't know if you are able to chat but i you know i'm just uh, saying this workshops also we did a meditation retreat recently so many times people fall asleep they feel mm -hmm. they fall asleep because they are when the moment they reach theta level it's mm -hmm. uh, like you know um, many people fall asleep with awareness to go there it means it takes a lot of many years of meditation also mm -hmm. this is meditation to to reach theta and delta is a state where uh, like you know unconscious uh, where we are totally unconscious we don't know much about this because scientists have done experiments on people and when people come out of the theta level they tell okay okay i was totally thoughtless when they come out of alpha level they say ha huh, i was i was uh, i was meditating or i was dreaming or something like that dreaming by the way happens in alpha state and everybody does that now <laughs> this reminds me of one another fact like most people 90% of the population as i said they are uh, they are in beta or they are in a left dominant uh, state when they are awake right in the from mm. morning to night before they sleep yeah. now they do go to alpha level and they spend approximately 8 hours in alpha level not ex exactly 8 hours but maybe 6 7 hours because in theta delta also when they are sleeping they are in alpha level theta level delta level all these levels deep levels of the mind they are there and their right brain is completely active wow for all 100% of the population of this earth is is like that but during that time they are sleeping they cannot use the benefits of the right brain they have creativity they have imagination they have holistic thinking their healing happening intuition is happening they are uh, the they are aware of the feelings visualization everything is happening they are dreaming at that time but they are not able to use the right brain Uh, the benefits of that right because they are sleeping they can't do anything mm. and when they awake the left brain is active it's very logical so this is this is the problem coming back to delta delta is a frequency where scientists were not able to uh, find out what really happens there uh, because nobody is able to report it they are almost like you know very uh very deep sleep like you know totally unconscious sleep they are not able to report anything so we don't know much about delta level but some people say it is about parallel universes and we go into different <laughs> universes at that time so those things are uh, theories okay but this is the fact about and this is all uh, like you know research so in the workshop we are going to 
beta we have all, always been there but you are going to go to alpha and theta level and most of the time we are going to do at alpha level that's where uh, there is a particular frequency i would like to say this this is a uh, like uh, one of the things which are very important there is a particular frequency around the 10 that is a frequency where your left brain and right brain are equally active left brain is 100% active right brain is 100% active and it in that state if you make your decisions if you visualize something if you do your affirmations many people do affirmations but many people say that uh, they don't work because it is done at beta it will not work many of many people have read this book uh, uh law of attraction and secret and everything in that also they talk about this but how to make that law of attraction work for you you can try it in beta it will not work that's why many people read the book but and maybe they have watched the cd everything but they say oh i don't know it's it's not working for me mm-hmm. why it's not working because at beta the left brain is active the moment they say i am i am a billionaire or something like that the right left brain says oh no it's not the truth so that's why this is really really fascinating such an i have never heard of the importance of alpha state like we have learned the different brain waves but alpha state is so important this is for the first time that we have really delved into this 